about to miss this Everything that you're about to witness Get up, come out and try to get this This is all a part of my sickness But listen up, cause you're about to miss this Everything that you're about to witness Get up, come out and try to get this And this is all a part of my sickness Hello and welcome to Crack the Cred, the show that takes a mystery out of cracking passwords or finding ways around them. I'm your host, Dana Epp, and in today's episode, we're gonna talk about how to bypass the Samsung Galaxy S3 Android phone. Now, the reason that we're gonna go and talk about this is it just get into the mainstream of that you can uh, get into these systems, but no one's not getting deep into explaining how it's being done. There are a couple of videos that are out there that aren't showing it properly, and well, we wanna be able to explain exactly what's going on. Typically, I don't show attack vectors that don't have countermeasures, but the reality is, is this has been a, um, an attack that's been out there for almost a year now, and uh, now that's hitting mainstream media, it's about time that we show you how to defend against it. Because there is no countermeasure, and there is no capability of uh, patching this as of this recording, um, you're gonna wanna consider just making sure you have physical control of your phone at all times. Now, that's actually pretty good advice for any mobile phone, but it's even more uh, paramount when you consider the uh, Galaxy S3. Now, I don't happen to have one personally, but I was able to borrow one uh, from my daughter, and uh, I thought I would just kind of demonstrate here exactly how this works. So, it, it's, it's rather trivial. If you recall, um, in the last month, there was a discussion about a similar vulnerability that was in the uh, Apple iPhone in iOS 6.1. And it all starts and stems from the, uh, the vector of going through the emergency contact or emergency phone. If you go into the emergency and get into the contacts, you can have and do some interesting things in the state of the phone that then would give you access. In the case of the iPhone, it would give you access to their contacts and everything. In the case of the Android um, on the Galaxy S3, what we're really talking about is complete access to the device. So let me show you that works. You simply go into the emergency calls. Once you're in the emergency calls, then you want to go into the emergency contact screen. Once you're at that emergency contact screen, you simply want to hit the home key. And then as soon as you hit the home key and you start seeing it fading away, hit the power key very fast. In doing that, what you'll be able to do is put it into an interesting state. And you'll actually see for a millisecond there while you're going through there, you'll probably see that your home screen all of a sudden flashes. And that's because in a current state, it's actually at the home screen. So if I simply just hit home and power, and then you hit power again, boom, you're at the home screen. And at this point, you have full access to the device. So think about that for a moment. It means that if you get physical access to the device, you can be seeing everything. In case of my daughter here, I could see her text messages, her phone calls, her emails, and well, now, this is for curious sakes, right? Not to be evil, so don't be doing anything you shouldn't be doing here. But if you need a capability of getting in and bypassing the uh, lock screen on a Galaxy S3, well, that's all it takes to do it. If you find this interesting or you have any questions or you'd like us to feature something else in a future show, please feel free to hit me up on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash Dana app. Now, remember that passwords are like toothbrushes. You use them too long, they're gonna get gross, so make sure you change them frequently. See you next time. <laughs>